Decoding probability. Dive into random variables. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating topic in the realm of probability and statistics. Random variables and probability distributions. These concepts are foundational in understanding uncertainty and making informed predictions. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp of these topics. So let's dive in. A random variable can be thought of as a variable whose value is determined by the outcome of a random phenomenon. It's not your typical variable where the value is known. Instead, it has multiple potential outcomes, and each outcome has a certain likelihood or probability. For example, consider rolling a six-sided dice. The number that comes up is a random variable because we can't predict it with certainty. It could be any number from 1 to 6, each with an equal chance. Random variables can be broadly categorized into two. 1. Discrete random variables. These have a countable number of outcomes. For instance, the roll of a dice is discrete because the outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 are countable. 2. Continuous random variables. These have an uncountable number of outcomes. Think of the height of a randomly selected person. It can be any value within a certain range, say between 4 feet and 7 feet, but there are infinitely many possible precise measurements within that range. Now that we understand random variables, let's talk about probability distributions. A probability distribution assigns a probability to each possible value of the random variable. In simpler terms, it tells us how likely each outcome is. Discrete probability distribution. For our dice example, the probability distribution would say that each number from 1 to 6 has a 16, frac, 1, 6, 61 or roughly 16.67% chance of being rolled. Continuous probability distribution. For continuous variables, we often talk in terms of a probability density function. It gives the probabilities over intervals of outcomes, rather than specific outcomes. For example, the probability that a randomly selected person's height is between 5 feet and 6 feet. But why are these concepts so crucial? 1. Predictive analysis. Understanding the probabilities of different outcomes allows us to make informed decisions in real-world scenarios. 2. Risk management. For businesses and financial institutions, understanding probability distributions can be key to managing risks. 3. Scientific research. In experiments, Researchers use these concepts to interpret results and determine the likelihood of different outcomes. There you have it. Random variables and probability distributions might seem intimidating at first, but they're fundamental tools in the world of statistics and probability. By understanding these, you unlock a new perspective on the unpredictable world around us. I hope this video has shed light on these topics for you. Until next time, happy learning!